The Land Rover lineup is similar in that it uses the same ingredients but different wraps. You desire an SUV with six wheels and all-wheel drive. Have a Range Rover Veeler, which resembles a diminutive Range Rover Sport, a diminutive Range Rover, a finer Discovery, and a more slick Defender. In this comparison, the Evoque is a kid-friendly quesadilla, and the Discovery Sport is a lifestyle bowl. One of the company's most popular SUV models is the Range Rover Sport. Because the previous generation lasted nine years without looking dowdy, Rover probably decided to keep the design largely unchanged for the makeover in 2023. You would have to park the new Sport next to the older model to tell the difference between the two, even though the new Sport's headlights are squinnier. The new power-operated flush door handles, which add to the sleek appearance and slippery 0.29 coefficient of drag, are the primary giveaway. Even in the SE trim with few options, the Sport is a pleasure to drive. This is probably the least costly Range Rover Sport you can construct, costing $90,145 as tested. The electronically supercharged and turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-6 engine found in the base SE makes 355 horsepower. This engine is also available in other lineup models with 395 horsepower and a plug-in hybrid with 434 horsepower. The engine is consistently buttery and polished, even though the straight output 6s isn't particularly impressive considering BMW and Jeep are producing 500 plus horsepower from the same displacement. The supercharger instantly boosts the engine when the throttle is opened at low RPMs, building up the torque until the turbocharger blows a gale. At throttle tip in, there is a brief high-pitched whine, but that is the only indication of the supercharger's presence. When you open the throttle, the Range Rover Sport doesn't exactly lollygag, but it also doesn't hustle as you might anticipate given its rakish appearance. The Sport accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds and completes the quarter mile at 96 miles per hour in 14.3 seconds. These figures are respectable enough, but the Sport's 5 to 60 mile per hour time of 7.1 seconds provides a more accurate picture of how it performs in actual traffic that is, like a 5,387-pound car with 355 horsepower. In this instance, Sport denotes a diminutive rather than a Sport's intent, for example, Ford Bronco Sport and Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. The Sport SE at least gets good mileage, averaging 25 miles per gallon in our highway test at 75 miles per hour. Also, it is a convenient location for traveling. If the straight-six engine is idling at low revs and the 8-speed automatic transmission is in a tall gear, you could think you're driving an electric car. That's how quiet and slick it is. In fact, the interior noise level drops to just 66 decibels at 70 miles per hour, which is almost as quiet as a premium sedan. The active noise cancellation technology, which employs microphones in each will well to sample the sound rising up from the road and then cancel it out so you feel like you're riding around in a huge set of noise-canceling headphones, deserves some of the credit for that. Even with the 22-inch clod hoppers mounted to our test car, the included air springs and adjustable dampers add to the feeling of comfortable, trouble-free heft. The Range Rover Sport lays the road ahead with delicately toasted marshmallows, regardless of how broken the surface is. The Pirelli Scorpion Zero all-season tires can provide 0.81 grams of traction on the skid pad when switched to dynamic mode, but doing so also introduces head toss and jerky riding motions. Similar to its motor, the Sport SE's chassis performs best when not put under a lot of stress. Which is, we grant, how the majority of people use their cars the most of the time. Yet, further trims would bring the sport's performance numbers closer to those of true performance SUVs. Active anti-roll bars and rear wheel steering are included in the Stormer handling package, which is exclusive to the $122,975 first edition P530. We're confident that this model's 523 horsepower V8, which is supplied from BMW, allows for noticeably quicker acceleration. Yet, at its base price of $84,475, our test car is as close as you can come to a Range Rover Sport. A full-size spare tire cost $500, 22-inch wheels cost $1,450, and the cold climate package, $640, heated the steering wheel, washer jets, and windshield. If, like some of us, you find the embedded filaments in the heated windshield distracting, the heated steering wheel is available separately for $300. Of course, you can add tens of thousands of dollars worth of more choices to the Sport, but it already comes well equipped. The SC comes standard with a panoramic sunroof, heated front and back leather seats, a Meridian sound system, and adaptive cruise control with lane keeping assistance. It's debatable if the copious standard features add up to an interior worthy of a $84,000 Range Rover. Glass, black wood veneer, aluminum, and other harsh, bright surfaces produce a cabin where every speck of dust and smudged fingerprint are visible. 
other strange choices. Any phone inserted into the USB-C connector behind the flowing center console will quickly fly toward one of the footwells before forcibly disconnecting itself. The port is above a slanted plastic tray. The similar issue arises on a different axis because the inductive charging pad under the touchscreen lacks a lip on the back side. As soon as you press the accelerator, your phone will embark on a spelunking adventure in the center console, which is about the size and depth of an elevator shaft since it shares space between the seats with a second storage compartment that is concealed behind the cup holders. Why would you require the concealed storage behind the cup holder? As we uphold the law, we are unsure of what you may list there following, say, a day excursion from Ohio to Michigan. The Range Rover Sport's place in the range has always been obvious, it is comparable to the full-size Range Rover but is more focused on pavement performance. But, this specific trim wagers its appeal on the laid-back luxury it offers at its, relatively, low cost. When told that the price of the guacamole will be an additional $2.65, folks who answer, never mind, are the Range Rover for them. Does that actually affect your financial situation? Maybe not, but a line needs to be drawn somewhere. Range Rovers are the prim and proper fashionistas of their peer group because to their model handsome design and stylish interiors. But, the Range Rover sports price for its beauty is comparable to haute couture, while that of its rivals from Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and even Porsche is closer to ready-to-wear. Our base trim test sample costs more than $90,000 with extras. And to think that the sport was once a Range Rover that was within reach.